happy Monday, let's be fam. We're on our way to the gym. Trying to start the week off right. Uh, did a lot of eating, a lot of drinking this weekend. So we're going to get in there and see if we can uh, burn some of that. <laughs> burn some of those calories off. Let's try to get ready and right for the week. Um, little session. And then go home and uh, do some cleaning. And some getting ready for a, a new bed. We ordered a new bed for Dina because she's getting big and ours is really low to the ground so we ordered a new one it's getting delivered from Macy's uh, in a week so we gotta get ready for that up with Erica and had breakfast with her before she went to the gym but I decided to get back in bed and I fell asleep again and you know everybody tells me that I should just rest anyway so I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong here <laughs> all right I'm gonna get up all right, I'm gonna get up right now. Okay, right now. It's shower time. <sighs> this will wake me up. Yeah, this will wake me up. Oh my God. I can't stress enough how important oral hygiene is in itself. But when you're pregnant, it's like 10 times more important. Like my gums never bleed when I floss. That's legit. But now, when I floss, my gums bleed. I, uh, and, um, yeah. Uh, it's just because I'm pregnant. You just gotta keep, gotta keep flossing. Gotta keep doing it. Oh, girl. And if you haven't flossed in the last few months, put, put it to you like this. Everything that you've eaten every day for the last few months since the last time you flossed is still there. And if you don't believe me, that's your gingivitis, girl, not mine. 45 degree angle, you guys. It's easy to have good teeth. Um, I asked some people on Instagram what they recommended, and I got a few of these um, of this brand Renew. And then my girl Tony, her husband, Eric, shout out to Eric and Tony. Um, they work with Erica. Um, he works with Erica, and um, 
she gave it to him to take to Erica and she brought it to me and I love it. I love it because my panza is getting itchy, y'all. It's starting. So my panza is starting. I mean, it's <coughs> look, this is what it is. The baby is like down here. And then this is my regular panza. You know, like this is my fat. But now everything is like really hard. Um, so things are starting to get a little itchy. You know, I'm only four months. Yeah, I love this cream though. It's, I mean, I kind of wear it everywhere. It's really, really good. So, I mean, it's funny because everyone sees my buns and they're like, damn, you're showing already. But really, it's like, girl, it's just the, I'm hella gorda, so even though I'm only four months, like, of course I'm going to show where I'm, where I'm going to put my fat. The fuck? Of course it's popping out. <laughs> yeah, 60-40. 60% fat, 40% baby. So when the baby does get bigger, oh, bitch, I'm going to be so fat. I'm going to be so big all right so it was a good session at the gym i got everything uh that i wanted to get done of course of course the wifey calls me and it's like where are you at i'm hungry come take me to get something to eat she's got a car at home she can drive i swear this woman is a princess man ever since she's got pregnant she's just a princess she do anything on her own and I'm partly to, br to blame I guess I mean spoiler but she's carrying my kid you know so so anyway I left of course uh, I'm on my way let's go take she wants to go to habit you get in a good workout session and then you know the wifey wants cheeseburgers and french fries this is why I stay obese my goodness um i'm gonna do my best though. i'm gonna do my best to get like something a wrap a chicken wrap or something like that i can't let this this session go to waste you know what i mean stay tuned man because i guarantee you the wife you're about to get something delicious probably a cheeseburger with a fried egg or some shit i swear my kid eats good all right y'all see you at the habit i'm so excited we're gonna go eat Oh my god, that's what my favorite thing to do besides sleep is eat. And we are going to go to Habit Burger. Mm, so good. So good. Are you talking to me? I just need to. No, ain't nobody talking to you. I need to look a little decent. I can't be walking out in public, which I do. I really don't give a shit, but I can be walking out in public looking a hot mess all the time. What are people going to think? Fill up with your turtleneck. <laughs> What's wrong with my turtleneck? You know why I wear turtlenecks? Why? Because I wear sports bras. <clears throat> And every shirt that I wear, um, you can see the sports bra. And so I'm like, fuck it, just cover everything up. So that's why I wear turtlenecks. Oh, wow.
Who out there has a significant other that is a bit of a slob? So a while ago, I decided to put Leslie's um, clothes and her shoes in the guest room slash, well it's not a guest room anymore, we sold the bed and everything, but now we're trying to convert it into the boys' playroom. So I moved all her clothes, all her shoes over here because I just couldn't deal with her leaving, her leaving her stuff everywhere. And I'm not the clean, cleanest person in the world either. However, it drives me nuts to see a mess and I can't do certain things if there's clutter, if there's stuff like on the dressers, on the counters, whatever. I, I like to see things a little bit more organized. I'm not OCD at all, but I like things to be organized and clean. So this is, babe, I love you and I'm sorry, but at the end I promise you're gonna love me for it, okay? <laughs> so this is Leslie. She doesn't know how to put her shoes back in the boxes. And I'm about to fix that. She just bought me that desk so I can study. And honestly, I don't want to study in here because this shit, this, this would drive me nuts if I was in here studying. Like, no, I can't do it. So I'm about to, I'm about to hook her up, put all her shoes in the boxes, and you'll see the final product. Cleaning out her closet and doing all this stuff flared up my allergies. So I've been sneezing and coughing and the boys luckily are helping me out. So far this is what we have. Shoes that are already in their box and all the shoes that need to be put in their box. And yeah, check this out. I bought these shoes for her maybe like 10 years ago. These have to be the most expensive shoes that I've ever purchased her. These foam cough drops. Have I seen her wear them? Maybe in the beginning of our relationship. Do I ever see them? No. And yet she wants me to buy her a shirt. Look what I could do. Te ayudo el otro piecito, papá. There you go. But yeah, trying to help her with her life and wait till you see what I have in store. She's gonna love me even more. Although I don't know because I'm here putting her out on black. Putting her on black. Hmm. I love you, babe. Don't be so mad. It's gonna look nice at the end, okay? So a lot of people don't know this about Leslie and I, but um back during the recession, Leslie had lost her job and she was out of work for like maybe two years. And during those two years, she had reconstructive knee surgery. So during that time, we were struggling. Um, the only person that actually does know that is Dina. She's my best friend. She was, we were known as, we. she was our triple nipple. And um, she knew everything. And she was there for us through a lot of the rough times. And Leslie and I, like, it was to the point where we started selling our shoes, you know, because we just couldn't afford food or anything like that. I was working doubles, like back to back, or working extra shifts, you know, trying to make ends meet. I feel like a lot of people go through that point where they're struggling financially. And um, I feel like during that time, it was, it was trying times for sure. You know, we were both stressed about our finances. We were stressed about I mean I remember we used to go to the dollar menu all the time because that's all we could afford and a cup of noodles of course can't go wrong with that I mean shit even now like I love cup of noodles I just eat them because they're so delicious and Leslie's so funny because she says that I make the best cup of noodle but a cup of noodles a cup of noodle and we sold our shoes like I said and slowly um, Leslie's been buying her shoes throughout the years, you know, and she didn't want to sell her shoes at all because her plan was to 
give them to her future kids, you know? Like, back then we would talk about kids all the time. And I'm sorry if I keep touching my nose and sniffling. I've been sneezing because it's so dusty where her shoes are at. And um, she wanted to give it, give the shoes to her future kids. And granted, they were like size seven, seven and a half in, in men's, boys. I don't know what size category that is. So she decided like, you know what? I'm just gonna sell them. We need the money. And it worked out because now she has pretty much most of those shoes in her size now so she can actually wear them but does she wear them not all of them she wears like her favorite ones but but yeah you know I sold my shoes too and um, I don't know as, I, as I've gotten older I'm not much of a sneakerhead and I just buy shoes for comfort and I literally wear get them hella dirty and Leslie gets hella pissed off because I dirty them and I don't know I'm just not a sneakerhead but I love comfortable shoes so if they're comfortable I'm gonna want them look what I find like who the hell does this same damn shoe different I guess pattern or I don't know the location of the white who does that so do? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I need to see what you guys are doing and if you guys aren't in here, si no están aquí Ay, salud. Thank you. You're welcome. Si no están Oi, are you okay? Okay. Let's walk go. Let's walk So now I went to Walgreens. Sorry, too close. And I took a picture of all her shoes. And I'm going to put it right there on front where the size is at. That way she knows what shoe that is. Hopefully that organizes her life a little bit. Get the chances in a pillow. No, no, no. Literally two seconds. Okay, maybe like two minutes. Nasty dude. So far, this is what I got. The zapatos y blancos. The zapatos too. The mom. It's mom. It's mom. It's mom. Is it the mom? Is it the mom? Is it the mom? Yep. Forgot. I ran out of tape. No, me. And I forgot to take pictures of these. So these are pending. Ew. Ew. Sicko. Alright y'all, so Leslie's about to get home and I'm about to surprise her. Wait a little bit. I mean it's not it's not a big deal, but I'm excited because I know I'm hoping this helps her out with keeping her shoes organized, like you guys have no idea. And the room still needs a lot of work, but I did a lot today. This was super time consuming. Like you have no idea. My allergies flared because of all the dust in there and I have really bad allergies. I'm very sensitive to a lot of things. So yeah. I'm just waiting. You hear the boys? I'm so excited that she's here. Ya viene mamá. Look it. Look it. But look closely. Holy. That's so cool, man. You did that? that yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You, you like it? I love it. Yeah, the monkey. Mommy. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. You like it? Do you like it? Yeah. This is the one I love, I love getting a, a, a slide. Oh, yeah? I like it. I like it more. Mom, 
Hi, babe. 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 H